Rain gauges come in all shapes and sizes, but which ones are the most accurate and used for official observations? Jacob Morse explains. Airports are usually where official observations are recorded because of the Automatic Observing Station's partnership with the FAA and the Department of Defense to get data near runways. The National Weather Service typically uses these sites for long-term climate records, but there are a lot of gaps to fill in, especially in rural areas. That's where manual observations with the National Weather Service's Cooperative Observing Program and COCORAS come in. There still is nothing better than the human observer. The co-op program was established in 1891 and is still going strong with more than 11,000 volunteers across the country recording daily temperature and precipitation data for the NWS. 160 co-op observers are across western and central North Dakota, but there are many more as a part of the COCORAS program. It's kind of like a miniature co-op network, kind of like the minor leagues of the co-op program. You can go to COCORAS.org to join the network and get your own standardized 4-inch diameter manual gauge to use for your daily reports. But why do some co-op sites use a larger gauge? The only big difference between between these two is the 8 inch you would think it catches more than the 4 inch but that's not necessarily true you put them side by side they will catch the same amount of rain this one this outer cylinder will hold 11 inches one full this one will hold 22 inches one full these standardized rain gauges with the inner cylinder and funnel removed are also used to measure snow and that snow can be melted inside to get a liquid content. They can go out and take snow samples, determine what the snowpack moisture is in the snow cores by just turning this upside down, catching a sample very lightweight. These gauges allow for precise rain reports down to the hundredth of an inch, whereas it can be hard to get an accurate measurement using an inexpensive rain gauge because some don't have an enlarged scale on an inner cylinder and their opening to catch the rain can be too small. But for the National Weather Service, we try to keep apples to apples instead of apples and oranges, so we keep them as standard as we can. For your news leader, I'm Jacob Morse. Rainfall can vary greatly over small distances, so the more observers, the better. We observe that mm. even here in town, Kevin. Yes, yeah, certainly. And a rain gauge on a post, right? You want to make sure it's elevated above the top of the post because you get a lot of splashing from the top of the post into the rain gauge. That can really uh, uh, have a big effect on how much rain or didn't, either did or did not fall. That's for sure. So just things to keep in mind here, but certainly good reporting by Jacob there on the proper way to have a rain gauge.